Hey everybody, how are you doing today? We're going to learn how to export paths to uh, Illustrator using the export method um, in Photoshop CS6. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and draw out a uh, make a path and I'm just gonna use the custom shape tool to make a path. And you can see that there is a path in there. When you draw something with the custom shape tool, it automatically makes a path. And we're going to um, use the different method. Let's go to uh, File, and then we're going to go to Export, and then we're going to go to Paths to Illustrator. And we've got our paths here. So if you uh, need a different name, you need to rename it here in the Paths menu just by double clicking on the name there. And uh, hit OK. Now I got to go to my files here where we got New Boston, okay. And here we go, um, vectors, because it saves it as an Adobe Illustrator file. And this is Sheriff. We'll save that. Now I can open this up. File, open in Illustrator. And there's Sheriff right there. I'll open that up. Um, these are good. And now we can see that my path has been exported into Illustrator. And you can see that the color information has not, but we do have the path in there. So that's how you do it without uh, exporting in like the color and everything like that. So you've got um, different, two different methods. Um, if you check, if you uh, look at the last tutorial that I made, the one right before this, um, we use a, a save as method. And this one, we just exported the path. So that's all I wanted to show you here, and um, that way is a, lot, a little bit faster, and you don't have to deal with the color and stuff like that, so that's uh, pretty nice. You can obviously add color in here if you would like to, um, wherever the paint bucket tool is. Here's a gradient tool that'll, that'll do something. No, I don't have any color selected. Anyways, I'm not teaching Illustrator right now. We're just teaching uh, Photoshop. So now you guys get the idea and you can use this to your advantage. So see you guys in the next tutorial. We're going to start a whole new section where we're going to be working with the layer styles. Um, hopefully I see you guys in those ones. See you guys later. Have a good one.